All right, guys, recording now. Let me get the screen capture up. I've already... Okay, we got a communication at 8.59 a.m. from Father Giuseppe, surprisingly, through the, the Facebook. I've screen captured everything and saved all of the... We'll go back to the beginning of the conversation, read it through. He tells us what happened the night he was taken away and just what these bastards are up to. Um, all right, here it is here. First, uh, first contact, 8.59 a.m., so that's Brisbane, Australia. Mr. Marshall, it's me, Giuseppe. Uh, Giuseppe, where are you? We'll be in Rome around April 23rd. And then smiley face, Mrs. Marshall, exclamation mark, I send back a heart, where are you? Um, I'm no longer a priest, but now I live in a small town in Sicily. Good, that is the best news. We are coming, how far is Sicily from Rome? Let me see, I live in Avola. I'm being watched though. Are you under arrest? Do they know you are typing to us? What time is it there? They don't know I'm typing to you, it's past midnight. Your address, uh, give it now so we have it, your. And then he says, Avola to Rome, 878, nine hours and three minutes, that's kilometers. Okay, looking now. Again, we will be in Rome on or about the 23rd of April. Good, he says, protests against Francis. I have no idea what is happening with Benedict though. I said we will sort it out. Can, can we break you out of there? Can we drive past and a car pick you up and go fast? He says, let me tell you exactly what is going on with me. I live with a friend and I'm using his computer. There are two Italian police standing outside. The front, one in the back. And we have a detective. one in the morning, by the way. Yeah, just after midnight in his time. And we have a detective who probably lives nearby. And then, then we say, have you ever dreamed what is happening could be so? He says, no. I said to stop the announcement of the return of Christ. Christ is saying that the star directly above you now means chosen young man. He says, smiley face, really? <laughs> I said, we are so relieved to hear from you. Our saints have been working overtime alerting. We have translated the apostolic letter into 17 languages. And yes, really. Huh? We are in Revelation 11:17 as of yesterday when the nation... 11.17 began, which means Almighty God takes back his great power. He sends a smiley face. <laughs> I'm so happy that I'm speaking to you. The Christ is saying to chill out and smile. It is all according to prophecy. He says, okay, do you have, I say, is there any idea where or what they would do with Benedict? He says, none whatsoever. He said, I had to give everything back. I, I had to give back everything. I said, do you have any money to live on? He says, nope, I pay a very low rent to live with my friend. Your family, are they okay? Yes, I call them. They are planning to move here too. Christ is saying, it is going to be over real soon. Do you have a phone there? He says, no, this house was chosen by Francis for me to live in. To call my family, I use my friend's cell. In case, what is your friend's number? He says, the police know that you will call though. They can listen to my calls. I say, yes. They will arrest you too. They know you are going to Rome. I said, all good. Let us, let all know that Francis can't stop me or you. You got it, good man. Uh, Karen has been watching the face of Archbishop George with Francis and he looks very sad. He says, yes, he's devastated. Pope Francis likes Archbishop George. That's why he is still in the job. I said, can you talk to him at all? He says, no. The Christ is saying, sit back, enjoy, and watch it unfold. We love you, and Benedict will become Pope again. It is prophecy, and we will all be together. Every minute is one minute closer. He sends a smiley face. I ask, are you able to watch the YouTube? He says, I think so. Yes, I want to watch your videos. <laughs> I say, I will get links. Some I get very angry because I know I am talking to Francis and those demons who support him. So I use the F word. <laughs> it shocks people of their stupidity and they get offended, which is what they need to be. And then I send him to the links where I'm calling out doll women. And, uh, <laughs> okay, he says, great. I said, there is more. The latest ones are about Andrea Anna. She is the reincarnated Anna, who is the grandmother of Simon Peter and, of course, Jesus. She looks exactly like Benedict. In this next video, toward the end of it, Benedict and Anne's photo, one over the other, they are the same person. He says, oh my goodness. I said, yes, bringing it all home, the Christ has proven all things, ends in Rome. And then another link. She had to be the one to make contact with Benedict. He is her grandson, um, beloved Anna. She was pure and immaculately conceived, Mary. 
Anna was barren 50 years with her beloved Joachim. She conceived in the Garden of Gethsemane when the angel Gabriel visited Anna and Joachim in the wilderness at the same time. When Joachim got back after 40 days to Anna, she had conceived already of the Holy Spirit. He says, amazing, I, I never even thought that. Anna is truly a saint. I says, yes, she is. Pure of heart and humble, she was so scared to do anything because she had all of her life, this life, as Andrea Lunick, uh, was shut down by people who walked all over her. He said, I set up a, a new Facebook page with you as the admin as well, just in case Francis deactivates my Facebook again. I said, okay. Good, Joel has just seen it. He says, yes. I said, a lot of catch up for you. All good. Smiley face. He says, how is Salvatore Mundi? Can I speak to him? <laughs> then I go, cool as shit. His words, yes, of course. He goes, ha, ha, ha. Okay, great. I say, he will take over here now. And then he goes, <laughs> the first words from the Christ are, hi, ha how's are you? We were worried. He says, I'm great, Lord. How are you? Please save you. Don't be worried. I said, well, right, so glad to hear from you. We were worried, but hearing from you makes me feel much better. He goes, oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from you. He says, I was talking to Adam in Poland. He sends his regards. Oh, thanks. He said, I was telling him how stupid Lucifer is. We flushed him out when he sat with the Holy Father and we looked at his face. And then Giuseppe says, yes, he is a psychopath. And then he says they were trying to kill him. That was not going to happen. They used water, food, air, etc. But prophecy cannot be broken. And then uh, Giuseppe says, he told me that he was disgraced to talk to me on the phone. I said, I am disgraced. You call yourself Pope. Yeah, yes, awesome. Yes, uh, Christ continues. Yes, indeed. However, the Holy Father is the reincarnate of Peter and his mother was a... Holy Mother Mary, so in reality, he and I have the same mother. I gather he suddenly realized this was so. After all, I am who I am, and he is certainly Peter. This is how it works. The soul is immortal until I say so, and was part of the church in 12 AD era. That means most Catholics have no idea that today we are in the end time and all are gathered for judgment. He says, yes, absolutely. And then, so Christ continues, so you were with us then and is why you are with us now. And then he says, Francis phoned you? He says, before I left Rome, this is how it happened. So listen what happened. All of a sudden we hear a slam on the Pope's office door. It's the police and men in suits, Francis men. They tell me they have a warrant for my arrest and they tell me to leave immediately. The Pope Emeritus got up and was knocked down by the Pope's men. He tried to stop them. This is exactly the Peter, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. What happened in the Garden of Gethsemane? And, and so we say, was he injured? He said, the last I saw Pope Benedict, he was sobbing on the ground, bleeding from his ear. Christ says, bastards. Giuseppe says, I cried and tried to help him. They put cuffs on me and put me in a black car. Then they put a tissue over my nose and I'm out. It was chloroform. These are some nice Catholics. Then I find myself at a basement. They had the same guy who knocked me out and the Pope out. They showed me a letter confirming my removal from the priesthood. I said, fuck you, you're not getting away with this. I'm glad you used the F word. I feel better now. <laughs> they kicked my jaw. I actually have a brutal jaw injury now. I, Christ says, okay, we are recording all of this, but we'll not upload. He says, why not? I says, well, they may take it out on you. These bastards are killers. However, I cannot kill you, but they can isolate and do injury. If, if we upload, they will know you are online. And then he continues, they also asked me for any requests before I became, before I become a layman. I said, let Mr. and Mrs. Marshall know what you have done. They grinned and said, okay. Then Christ continues, the angels will take care of his holiness and he will be a new man when we place him back on the throne. He, he, yes, that was odd. They're so sure they can do anything as I'm not able to help. So they assume, but it's a done deal. Prophecy cannot be broken. 
And Giuseppe says, that's true. Christ continues, think of the Bible prophecies as a movie script. It's all done and dusted. The actors are playing their part, then sudden destruction. The beast is chemtrailing the world, not just Europe. Are you aware of this? He says, yes, I am. Uh, Christ continues, they are dual. Once the chemicals are poisonous and also cover the sunlight, this causes a lowering of the immune system as we require vitamin D. We get it from the sun, so a lower immune system means they can target children with vaccinations and at the same time cover the sky with a blanket so the masses cannot see the new planets over the northern hemisphere. These are in a slow orbit, in a geocentric fixed orbit, and so when the clouds clear, the people will see them. That is, look for signs and wonders in the heavens, so some wise man said a long time ago. Australian people are so dumb, it is a wonder they can wipe their own backside, all due to the Jews who dominate food, water, clothing, radio, TV, cell phones and fluoride, and a host of chemicals in drinking water. I believe all of Europe has banned fluoride. It affects the pineal gland, which is means for connecting the mind to higher thought for thought via dreams or visions. Giuseppe says, absolutely. And then we say, just receive a message from Mike and Manon as follows. I have invited Giuseppe Giafalo to come chat at Yahweh.satis.net. Benedict is hurt. Uh, and he, we say to Giuseppe, you can chat with them at the same time if you wish. He says, how? I'm not a Facebook genius. Uh, we say, I will tell him to send a link. Uh-oh. And then capital letters at 10.53. The detective is here. Shit! Exclamation mark. My friend is stalling him. What should I say? Close out. Talk later. He says, okay. And that was the last of the conversation. I think what we'll do is we'll upload this unlisted, send it out to every one of the saints so that they've got a copy of it. Mm. Tell them to keep it unlisted mm. on their sites. Upload to their sites. Unlisted. Yeah. Ready to go. So that's the latest from Giuseppe. So, you know. So the point is, this monster, this psychopath, um, Hitler said that the Jew and this guy here is a Jew. Don't worry about that. Is like a maggot that when you clear the pus off the boil, you expose it to the light. Kills him. That's what Hitler said. Mm. Now that was in Mein Kampf. Mein Kampf, yep. Yeah. Oh, um. Well, what yes, I, yes, what I think it right. was Mein Kampf, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So this is where we're at, folks. Um, we're in uh, Revelation uh, 17 11. 11 7. Uh, hmm? 11 17, is it? 11 17. What yeah. was it? 17 11. Well, that too. 17. Because, because we'll go through to there, but yeah, we yeah. are at 11 17. So you can read the whole thing. And then next month we have a uh, solar eclipse on the 10th, and it is an annular eclipse, meaning it's got a, a golden ring. It's quite quite rare because the uh, moon is further away than uh, a normal solar eclipse. So uh, what that means is it leaves a very large golden ring around the, uh, the darkness of the moon. That is the invitation to the wedding supper. This is the Cana prophecy, C-A-N-A. And uh, it's worth reading and finding. So we'll give you a link for that in a moment. So they've taken this old man, 85 years old, and they knocked him to the ground because he was trying to defend Father his Giuseppe. Father Giuseppe. They have family. They have family. And then as he lay on the floor, he was bleeding. Crying. Crying. And uh, he must have been stunned for a moment because he said he was knocked out. I'm going to call that detective. And he's come, come through. Now, yeah, 